Hey guys, I'm going to check the velocity on these 8mm Mauser check surplus rounds. These were also sent to me by Ryan, so thanks again Ryan. On our head stamp all it says is UXA and 4, so I actually have little information on these rounds. Pretty much all I know is from my last analysis video with these where I broke some down. We know the bullet is a 178 grain projectile and most likely has a steel core. So it'll be interesting to see at what velocity these come in at today. And we'll check the velocity through two different rifles and also their accuracy at 100 yards. And first up with the check surplus will be the CAR 98A. Twenty-five fifty-eight. Twenty-five ninety-four. And twenty-six twenty-four. And here's our 98A group with the Czech surplus. Just like with the German surplus, they hit high. The group does kind of look like one of the PPU groups, but instead of low left, this time it's just a little high. From top to bottom, we got a little over three and a half inches, and from side to side, just a little over an inch. So we had about three and a half by one this time, which actually isn't that bad of a group for 100 yards with iron sights with a really worn out 100 year old rifle. And now the check surplus out of the Yugo Mauser. Twenty five fifty eight. Twenty six sixteen. And 26.06. So I'm pretty sure the chamber in my 98A is looser than my Yugo Mauser. When I reload brass fired in the 98A, they won't chamber in the Yugo. Like the Yugo's chamber is too tight with those check surplus rounds. All the brass from our Yugo is fine. But from the 98A, we have a huge split down one of the necks. The other two are fine though. So just one of our rounds shot through the 98A, got a huge split down the neck. But other than that, they're all fine. I'm guessing it's just because the 98A's chamber is more loose. And here's the group from our Yugo Mauser. A shot almost dead center again. With our German surplus, we had a round hit right here behind the tape. And now with the Czech surplus right here. So that's almost the exact same hole. And I was trying to aim exactly the same both times right for the center of the red circle. So other than that, we got another hit here and one here. So it looks like those two went just slightly high. And from top to bottom, we had just about four inches. And from side to side, just a little over two. Two and a quarter inches. So this time we had about four by two and a quarter. So I created a ballistic chart with these rounds using what I assume is their ballistic coefficient. Now keep in mind, this chart will not be 100% accurate, but it's still pretty cool just to get a general idea of these rounds' performance. And this chart is with a 100 yard zero and a seven mile an hour wind at 110 degrees. So at the muzzle, we have 2,593 feet per second, which gives us 2,657 foot pounds of energy. And then at 200 yards, we have 2,244 feet per second, with 1,990 foot-pounds energy. And here's the ballistics from 500 to 1,000 yards. But anyways, that's all for this video. And as always, thanks for watching.